Weiss with Go Go Yoga for Kids. And today I'm going to talk to you about a fun yoga game that you can play with kids. Now I would probably use this yoga game, it's called Yoga Opposite Game. I would probably use this game with ages five and up. It's a good, it's a great game um, that really gets you thinking, thinking outside the box. And so I would definitely use it with my school age children as opposed to preschool children. So Yoga Opposite Game. Now the official opposite day, I actually looked this up, is on January 25th, January 25th. So that's National Opposite Day. You can play this game anytime, but for me, I probably will tie then this yoga opposite, opposite game into that week that I teach kids yoga classes. I'll tie it in with that opposite day, that National Opposite Day, just to make it kind of fun. All right, so the only thing you need for this game are a set of the Kids Yoga Challenge postcards, and these are a set of 40 yoga poses. Um, they include partner poses and mindfulness mantras. They've got a lot with it. You can find them on Amazon, the Kids Yoga Ch Challenge postcards. Um, and what you would do is I would have the kids sitting in a circle and I would let them draw one of the cards. All right, so let's just pretend for a moment that Sophie picked boat pose. So I would have all the kids do boat pose and then Sophie would need to think of an opposite yoga pose for it, something that is the opposite of it. Now, um, Sophie could come up with a couple of different things. These are just a few examples that I pulled. Um, down dog is the opposite of boat pose. Um, if you really wanted to get, I mean, wheel pose for a little more advanced, or Sophie could come up with any other pose that she thought was the opposite of boat pose. So they are using their creative thinking for this yoga opposite game. There's so many fun yoga poses that have reversals. So for example, I bet you can come up with this if you are at reverse plank. What would be the opposite of reverse plank? Well, one of the options could be the real plank, plank pose, just like that. And so the kids would practice these poses and they'd be getting stronger. A few other fun ones to try just off, off the top of my head. So child's pose is a good favorite one, child's pose. Opposite of that would be flipping onto your back, happy baby, pulling your legs apart like they are apart in child's pose or even for your more advanced kids, they could go into crow pose, which is really child's pose, but you're on your hands. And you'll see it with the card visuals. It's really fun. Kids have a lot of, they, they really do well with coming up with opposites. Um, up dog, you're shining your heart. That's good. They could go into down dog for that. That could be the opposite. Um, candlestick pose would work well with the feet up above their head, shoulder stand, any of those will work. So the biggest thing with kids is I would let them come up with the opposite pose. Even if they don't have a name for it, just showing with their body what the opposite of that pose would be. It just really helps them retain that knowledge longer. I mean, they're having fun and they're practicing yoga. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.